welcome to today's video in this video i'm gonna be trying to learn as much italian as i can in seven days a little disclaimer i'm no way saying that after seven days you can be fluent because it's not about that so do not get discouraged if you've been learning italian for a while i did not get fluent in seven days this is just like a little like diary of my progress but before we properly get into the video i want to quickly talk about today's sponsor which is nordvpn so throughout this whole challenge i use nordvpn a lot for italian learning basically to quickly explain vpn means virtual private network so nordvpn is extremely easy to use you can connect to almost any country only with one click or you can even enable the auto connect and you don't even have to click anything nordvpn has over 5,200 servers in 59 different countries. So for example, if you're trying to watch Netflix from another country because your country doesn't have the TV show that that other country does, you can just connect to that country. With NordVPN, I would always connect to Italy and I would watch like my Netflix shows as if I'm in Italy. So all of the Netflix shows I watched, they had Italian subtitles, they had Italian audio. If I didn't have NordVPN, I would not even have Italian subtitles for most of those shows. And like, this is really relevant but it's really fun to connect to other countries because they have a list of countries you can connect to but I always do it through the map but yeah you can get NordVPN on every major platform so like Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, Linux even your Android TV will support NordVPN so if you would like to get a two-year plan and get four additional months at a huge discount make sure to go to nordvpn.com slash Anna links yeah make sure to check it out the link will be in my description and also in the pinned comment and you can get a huge discount count anyway let's get into the video i hope you guys enjoy so today is day one of learning italian for seven days and it's 6 p.m and i'm only starting now but i feel like this is a little bit more realistic because no one really has the time to sit at the table for like 10 hours a day studying a language so i made a challenge for myself that this week i need to learn 1000 of the most common italian words because a lot of the times like in duolingo and stuff we learn things like colors when it doesn't really come up in conversation you're not gonna actually ask a person what their favorite color is so learning like 1000 most common words is a lot more efficient than just learning vocab that like Duolingo gives you so I found a list of like the 1000 most common words in the Italian language and for day one I'm gonna learn 165 of them which is a lot <laughs> I feel like with language learning people tell you like learn five words a day or like at max like 20 words a day and I'm here with like 165 words in one day but I feel like I can do it and then also this week I'm trying to learn 100 of the most common verbs so today i'm gonna learn 20 of them i don't know if that will all happen but that's just the goal for today let me try to think i'm gonna try to like say something in italian so you guys can kind of see my before yeah i feel like all i can say is like non posso parlare italiano voglio cheat oh my god i actually don't know i know in spanish it's comida oh my god i i don't know what food is in it like i literally i just know like like 10 words or like 20 words also because i speak spanish and i've studied french a little bit in the past like in school i did it for three years but like bro i cannot speak french so don't let's not rely on that knowledge but i feel like spanish will help me a lot so yeah okay so the first thing i'm gonna start with is my first journal entry which is i have no knowledge but i'm literally gonna write like three three sentences because we'll see like every single day i'll get a little bit better but um i'm literally just gonna write like the words that i know and try to make them into sentences and if i don't know a word i'll just add it in english Okay, so what I wrote down is Buongiorno, mi chiamo Anna, sto bene. Ora non posso parlare italiano, ma pronto sì. Parlo russo e español. Okay, I won't lie, I've only done 88 out of 165 words and I thought it was gonna be a lot easier. Like, I thought Italian was gonna be basically like, not identical to Spanish, because I know it's two different languages, but I thought it was gonna be very similar. But so far, the only words that have been like really similar is like weather and time. Like in Spanish, it would be tiempo, but in Italian, it's tempo. But it's like all words are similar, but it's like you wouldn't guess what it is. So for example, like in Spanish, foot is pierna, but in Italian is like piede, which is close, but like I wouldn't guess 
the piede means foot. Also, I found out that the sentence I wrote in my first journal entry is wrong. Pronto means ready. What I meant to say was presto, but it still doesn't make sense. But what I would say is ora non posso parlare italiano, ma presto sì. Si. But I don't think you could say that. So maybe like ma presto I will, <laughs> but I don't know how to say that. Good morning, we are on day two. Literally just woke up in the morning. I've been doing Italian so far and my plan is to literally do Italian for most of the day. But what I've noticed is the difficult part right now is not learning new words, is remembering the words that I learned yesterday because 165 to 170 words a day is a lot, but like, it's a nice challenge. My issue is like remembering words from yesterday, which right now I don't think it's too bad. I have about like a 50% retention, which like is not great, but when you learn 165 words, like 50% retention is pretty good. Like I, that means I learned 80 words well. <laughs> So it is day three, it's 4 p.m. and I have about like five or four hours of free time to learn Italian today. But today I really need to focus a little bit more on making sentences because for the last two days, I've been learning a lot of words, I've been practicing my verb tenses, but I haven't really been like speaking, haven't been writing down sentences, I haven't been doing any of that. So I'm gonna try my best today to like speak a little bit of Italian because we're almost halfway through. I mean, I know it's literally day three, but um, there's only seven days. So almost halfway through and I haven't really spoken yet but i mean it's literally the third day so but as always the first thing i'm gonna do is just like review all the words that i've learned and learn the new ones because i feel like that's the most time consuming thing but like everything that i'm learning right now is going into my brain so god i have so much to review <laughs> 266 words to review and 170 words to learn the vocab is 100 percent the most intense part of this challenge like verb tenses are actually really fun i love them um vocab this is so much vocab. Non posso parlare italiano. È un po' difficile, ma ce la posso fare. Perso. Perso. Persa. Persa. Il grasso. Il grasso. Another thing I want to say is Italian has five different ways of saying the. It's not very hard to learn, but just like what? <laughs> like, I love it. I appreciate it. It makes that language so much more interesting. But like what? Like English just has one the. Like we just say the. Like it doesn't, we don't, we don't have like genders for our nouns. Genders for nouns, I'm completely used to. Like Spanish has masculine, feminine. Russian has masculine, feminine and neutral. And like all of those languages have different words for the. There's a fly going wild in here. Okay, <laughs> there's six different ways of saying that. I was wrong. There's la, il, le, i, el, apostrophe, I don't know how to say that in Italian, and lo. Il ferro. Il ferro. Oh my god, I don't remember these words. Il cantiere. Il sentiero. Il sentiero. Volace. Veloce. Veloce. I'm so close, but so far. I feel like I have this like preconception of how I think like Italians speak, like the tone of their voice, how they speak and like where they put the stress on the words, but I have no idea if it's correct or not. I know the basic rules, like if it's a S and a C, it's gonna be like a SH, like lasciare, or like I know sometimes like an S is an S, but sometimes I've noticed that an S kind of sounds like a Z. So I feel like they say casa or like cosa. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like I understand a lot. It's really weird. Ciao ragazzi e ragazze. Mi chiamo Anna, ho 19 anni. Sono metà russa e metà ucraina, ma sono nata a Riga in Lettonia. Ho vissuto in Lettonia, Irlanda, America e Spagna, ma ora vivo a Londra in nel Regno Unito. Parlo inglese, russo, spagnolo e ora un po' di italiano. <ride> Ho iniziato a imparare l'italiano questa settimana e mi piace tantissimo. Penso che il mio accento potrebbe sembrare un po' spagnolo, ma non è un grosso problema. Secondo me l'italiano è un po' più difficile dello spagnolo a causa della grammatica. 
Inoltre l'accento è più difficile da copiare, ma <ride> va bene. Conoscere lo spagnolo mi ha sicuramente aiutato a imparare l'italiano. Volevo imparare l'italiano perché mi sono innamorata di Maneskin <ride> di recente. L'anno prossimo verrò a Firenze per andare al loro concerto, quindi voglio capire cosa dicono al concerto. Non posso ancora parlare di argomenti difficili, ma va bene, è passata solo una settimana. Cercherò di continuare a studiare ogni giorno. Eh sì, è così. So that was my Italian. I don't know how to feel about it because I feel like since I've been progressing so quickly, I don't remember what my Italian was like at the beginning of the challenge. I mean, at the beginning of the challenge, my Italian was non-existent, so I should be super proud of myself, but in my head, I kept pronouncing things wrong, so I would like re-say the sentence. But yeah, like for example, you're not gonna see this because I am gonna cut it out. But instead of imparare, I kept accidentally saying imparato. But yeah, I'm very proud of how far we've come. I really did not film anything on like day four, five, six, seven really because let me tell you what the process was. So in the first few days, you saw me film, I think day one, day two, day three. And then I, I don't remember which day I filmed, but I think I tried to film a little bit on like a random day. But for the first two days, for sure, I focused solely on like the first 1000 words, like all the verbs, all the tenses. Like it was very like book learning. And even though I didn't have a book, but it, it gave me the vibes of like, I'm learning from a book right now. So in the first two days alone, I, I learned around like 450 words with about 50 verbs and I learned the present tense, the irregular present tense, I learned the past tense just in the first two days. So I feel like the first two days were really important, but the first two days were draining. I had to spend hours doing this and I was like, I cannot do this for seven days straight. So towards the end of the challenge, I focused more on speaking and like learning sentences that I would say in real life. So if you come up to me and start talking to me about plants and like Like, why do you like plants? What's your favorite thing about plants? Like, I will not be able to speak to you about that because that's not a topic I'm prepped for. So I was like, okay, like, what's the main things? Like, the first thing I need to learn how to do is introduce myself and, like, talk about why I'm learning Italian and stuff like that. So my vocab was very based around that. So, for example, the verb to grow up is not, like, it's not a non-common verb, but it's not the most common verb out there. Like, crescere is probably not the first verb I I would be learning in my first week but when I meet a person I mean honestly when I speak in English I don't tell people where I grew up but I feel like when I'm trying to introduce myself that is an important verb to know so for the other like three, four days, I just solely focused on being able to talk about myself, which sounds very like me, 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 but it's been seven days. Like, I'm not gonna speak about difficult subjects. I don't even know. I don't like, I don't really know how to ask people questions. I think that's the only thing I kind of locked in. I feel like if I had an Italian person around me, I would try to do this challenge where like at the end of the challenge, I spoke with this person. So then I would focus on learning how to ask people questions, but because it was just me, alone i was like my focus of the week is to be able to properly introduce myself talk about why i'm learning italian and stuff like that so i did in the end learn about 800 900 words words my english is the languages in my head are like in the end i did end up learning about like 800 to 900 words i was about to say verbs bro i cannot speak today but yeah i really enjoyed this challenge let me know if you want more of these because honestly i will be truthful with myself i don't want to be harsh i did a lot of work and i'm very proud of myself but i will say the way i filmed this video and the way i went about learning the language in the first two three days is not the most like i don't think I did the best approach. So you live, you learn. There's hundreds of languages out there. So if you ever want me to do this with another language, or if you want me to do this again with Italian, but just like go more in depth, or like maybe an intense Spanish learning challenge, or maybe like a seven day Korean challenge because my flatmate is from South Korea. So she speaks Korean. So I don't know if you guys want any of those videos, please let me know, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.